Yes! That's awesome! Hello everyone and welcome to Action RPG. I'm your host Aaron and for today's video we're headed to the world of PoE. What I experienced yesterday, what I saw during the Path of Exile 2 mercenary demonstration coming to PoE 2 feels groundbreaking. Feels like the next echelon, the next evolution of action RPGs. If you have not seen this yet, when you look at combat, when you look at movement, when you look at tying skills together, seeing how skills work together in certain situations, including using the environment and using enemy weakness, I am blown away by what GGG is doing for PoE2. And we're gonna watch this together. I think it's about nine or 10 minutes long. And if you haven't seen it yet, buckle up, it, it's awesome. It's absolutely awesome. Obviously I'm excited enough to make this video. All right, let's do it. I'll take them all down one bolt at a time. When thinking about each new class, we really try to think about how we can make combat feel different from all the others. For the mercenary, that difference is the crossbow. A crossbow is fundamentally different than a regular bow because it fires instantly instead of needing to be drawn back. This means that you need immediate feedback. Clicking the fire button should make the character shoot instantly, just like in a shooter. As soon as we experienced that, we realized that there are a lot of design lessons to learn from shooters, and so we fully embraced them. In Path of Exile 2, we have crossbows that work like sniper rifles, shotguns, and assault rifles. Just to be clear, even though it's not a gun, like you're holding a physical pump action shotgun or an AK-4, you know, it is still a gun, right? The what, what it looks like they're holding, who cares? Like this is fundamentally guns inside of PoE. And it's awesome. But in order to really get shooter-like gameplay, we wanted to go further. In Path of Exile 2, we now support WASD movement. You can now walk around in any direction independent of aiming. In fact, if this is your preferred method of gameplay, you can use it on any class, regardless of what weapon type you're using. You can change between click to move or WASD at any time. This has been asked for for almost a decade by the PoE2 community, and a lot of people are like, who cares, just use click to move. Well now, as you can see in the gameplay, you can move backwards with your keyboard, or I guess controller, and then fire forward. So you can do two things at once, much more advanced. You can only hold two crossbows at a time, but Path of Exile 2 is all about interesting combinations of abilities. And this is where ammo skills come in. This is a burst shot crossbow. And right now I have armor piercing ammo equipped, which makes it very effective when facing a group of enemies, since it pierces right through them. Bloody horrors! But there are other ammos too. For a bigger single target, it might be a good idea to switch to incendiary. The more projectiles hit the target, the stronger the ignite. So you'll want to get up nice, close and personal with this one. If you have a bunch of targets running at you, you might want to slow them down. In this case, you could switch to permafrost burst shot. Shooting a bunch of smaller enemies at range will chill them and potentially even freeze them in place. Once you have some frozen enemies though, you can switch back to armor piercing. Shooting a frozen enemy with armor piercing burst shot will explode the ice, doing a huge amount of damage to all nearby enemies. I love this. I love how the combinations work together and it makes sense. If they were frozen and then you shot them with the armor piercing, it would go through the ice and cause a larger explosion. Love that. Yeah! Another feature crossbows have is attachments. This is a grenade launcher. As you can see, when I equip it, it appears on the underside of the crossbow. These attachments are just like skill gems, so you effectively get extra skill slots. And you can augment these with support gems, just like regular skills. Join our family. Fire in a hole. These grenades take a while to explode, so it's a good idea to pair them with some kind of crowd control, like permafrost burst shot. Shoot the grenades, then freeze them so they can't run away. We have other grenades too though. This attachment is a flash grenade. It does barely any damage, but it does a huge amount of stun. It can be a great opener before you run into combat. 
Done grenades. Surprise! Now, here's another attachment, an oil grenade. Firing one of these grenades cool. coats the ground and nearby enemies in oil. Oil slows enemies down, so it's another useful crowd control mechanic. Watch this. Now, another thing that oil can do is be set on fire. Any burning enemy or explosion will ignite the oil, causing extra burning damage. problems with burst shot crossbows is that each pallet doesn't do much damage individually. This means that if enemies have armor, then it will be very effective preventing that damage. But thankfully, you can equip an additional crossbow in your second weapon set to deal with the weaknesses of your primary weapon. This is a rapid shot crossbow. Rapid shot is great for closing on enemies because you can shoot... Correct. Rapid shot means machine gun. ...while running. In Path of Exile 2, we now have the ability to allow you to use some skills while moving. Being able to create skills like this opens up a lot of new design space and allows us to really increase the pace of combat. Crazy. The armor-piercing version of Rapid Shot slowly erodes a monster's armor. Once the armor is fully broken, you can easily switch back to Burst Shot to deal much more damage. Break their armor, Burst Shot. Maybe throw some oil, light it on fire. Being able to run while shooting with Rapid Shot is also great for when you want to perform a fighting retreat. Reload! Using permafrost ammo with rapid shot is also useful if you need to retreat. This when you shoot the ground, it creates ice crystals. If you draw monsters back over these crystals, they explode, chilling the monsters. Dude, did you catch that? He's retreating and shooting the ground so that the enemies chasing him run into it. It's great if you want to set up a safe zone before pulling the next pack. Slowing enemies down can come in handy if you want to use the incendiary version of Rapid Shot. Using this skill requires that you charge up a little bit before it fires, but as it continues to heat up it will do more and more damage. It has a really large clip size, so you can just keep firing and firing with it. But the other really useful feature is that when the crossbow is heated up, it adds extra fire damage to any grenade that you launch. Flip size is 105 shots. Now I've been using explosive grenades here, but it will work equally as well with flash or oil grenades too. If you use it with oil grenades, the oil will catch fire immediately. Fire seems the most fun, I gotta say. The fire and oil combination looks awesome. Feel like rapid or armor piercing, then I'll fire. Another crossbow type that you can find is power shot. This one works just like a classic sniper rifle. Use it with armor piercing ammo and it will penetrate armor on targets. So it's a good idea to use when something's really tough. Back down or die! Now this skill has another interesting interaction with armor break. If an enemy has its armor broken, then your power shot hits a weak spot and does a huge amount of single target damage, with a bunch of extra stun for good measure. Feels like everything is designed around breaking the enemy's armor to ensure you are inflicting the most amount of damage with added perks. The incendiary version of Power Shot is more like a rocket launcher. It does a big explosive blast at a distance. Ah! 
One of the really useful features of this version is that you can explode any grenades that happen to be on the ground. Ooh, that looks good too. This combo also works really well with incendiary rapid shot. I'm going to charge up the heat on my crossbow, shoot out a bunch of grenades, and then start the fireworks with a power shot. Boom. Boom shotgun. The ice version of power shot creates frost walls at a distance. This is great for crowd controlling monsters and tight passages. Dude, check this out. The wall segments have other uses too. If they get destroyed by monsters, then they will explode, doing a small amount of damage. You can also connect the walls to make them larger. Watch this. Block him in! Now, remember that burst shot combo with frozen enemies we did earlier? That works with ice walls too. Let's put burst shot back on. Now I can fill up this area with ice walls and shoot them with armor piercing burst shot for a huge amount of damage. Look at that. All right, it's time to face the boss for this area. Let's see how we fare against her with all the skills I've shown you so far. All right, this is the final fight. scissors. Stay still, the mother. No, 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 no. Be still, the mother. Your time has come. the gods. Throws out a little baby. Little trip. Look at it crawling. Rapid fire. Children. Eat your fill. It is a mom throwing out baby children. Dude, that does so much damage. Watch out for that. Get the baby. Piercing shot! What have you done? What have you done? Ooh, so close to death right there. Smoked. What is going on in this God's Forsaken City? And that's the Mercenary. It feels totally different than anything we've made before and shows you the range of what's possible in Path of Exile 2. Pause. Okay. Do you see what I'm talking about when I say the evolution of the action RPG genre? This presentation of the Mercenary by Grinding Gear Games for PoE2 is just extraordinary. The combination of skills, them working in conjunction, using the environment. I'm so excited to play this game. 2024, we've got the release of Last Epoch 1.0. We have PoE 2 and Titan Quest 2. We've got Moon Studios making a new action RPG. Hopefully, 
better stuff comes from Diablo universe. Anyways, golden age of action RPGs. I'm very excited and I hope you enjoyed this presentation as much as I did. Two asks at the end of the video. Ask number one, I'm hoping today is the day I have earned your subscription. I'm hoping today is the day you make the decision to push that little red button. I would really appreciate it, but of course, only if you think I've earned it. And if I haven't earned it, I'm gonna work harder for you. Ask number two, check out my Patreon. Thank you to the first 92 members that have signed up. I get asked all the time, what's the best way to support? And Patreon is it. You get the most bonus content. Obviously, it supports me. I'm trying to get on there where I am posting regularly, and you get access to the VIP lounge where we could chit chat every day. You get access to the live stream audio and video, and we are setting up a monthly game night. First link in the description for Patreon. That's all I've got. Hopefully you're entertained or at least learned something. Aaron, out.